Pete here and I'm back for another Fun Bridge tournament. Let's jump straight into it and see how we can go. So as usual, if you haven't played this before, all you have to do is click Get Started slash Practice, Exclusive Tournaments. And if you have played it, you'll see the name come up here. Otherwise, you want to click View All Tournaments and search for either BridgeVid or Pete Hollands and it should come up. Anyway, uh, let's see who the top players are and then check out the uh, top, uh, top 50%. So one, two, and three have only played uh, up to two boards. So currently the winner with 82.4% is Artfulest. In second place is Rickema Zero. And third place is Florin.Constantine. All cracking above 80%. So that is a fantastic result for those top three spots. Uh, but rounding out the uh, top four is uh, Ella Chizkak. Sorry for butchering that name. And in fifth place is Sydney Boy. Um, just checking out uh, the top... F who cracked the uh, top 50%. The trying to beat Pete, 60%. That is a good marker there. Good challenge. The gauntlet is thrown down. Tiffane the best. Yeah. Storming up the field. Going all right after three boards. Who dealt this rubbish? It started off pretty well. Fred Bridge. Not sure I've seen Fred Bridge play this so far. And then uh, down to the 50% mark. Final one to sneak into it is Califax. Anyway, uh, well done to anyone who cracked the top 50%. Let's, uh, oh, cracked 50% and above. Um, we had 183 people playing. This is a fantastic turnout. Let's jump into it and see how we go. Board number one, eight high card points, two, four, three, four. Pass a spade to me, nil vol. Don't have a bid. If I was gonna bid, I was like, hmm, should I like try and push around with a takeout double here? I, I feel like that'll just really help the opponents when they do end up declaring the hand, so. The answer is no, um, but uh, me to lead. And it's gone one spade, pass two hearts, uh, which is just nat like natural and forcing, not game forcing. Uh, two spades, just a waiting bid. Three clubs. This is a third suit forcing. Okay, and three no trumps. Okay, uh, so West has five hearts, so it looks like hearts are five, four, two, two, or something like that. Uh, I think East probably does have six spades a lot of the time. Uh, they might be like a five, three. Two, three, three. Uh, I don't really want to lead a diamond here, even though it's the unbid suit. I think I'll just lead my fourth best club. Three clubs supposedly didn't actually promise, like it's semi-natural three plus clubs. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll stick to that. Like my partner didn't open the bidding. They didn't preempt diamonds. They didn't really have room to get in there, but um, a diamond could be right. But I know East has some diamonds as well. So we'll just try a club and see how we go. Okay, uh, so what's happened here? Uh, the first trick went seven of clubs, queen, jack, six. Okay. Uh, that looks like my partner's got a singleton club. So I think East actually has five spades and four clubs. We've got a heart to the king. So uh, East has a diamond stopper. And I've got probably Queen, Jack of Spades, King of Hearts, and a Diamond on oh, no, probably the Ace of Diamonds. Uh, we have 10, 15 highs in Dummy, plus 8 is uh, 23, 17 missing. Let's give East 12. So I think I might have up to 5 points, and we've seen the Jack of Clubs. So, all those hearts are coming in. I could duck this, but then they might have five hearts, potentially five spades if he's got queen, jack, ten, fifth spade. So like five hearts, five spades, two clubs and a diamond. To me, it really feels like we want to hop up with the ace. And okay, my partner does have an extra one there. I do not have another entry. Um, but all those hearts are coming in. I don't know how many spades they've got, but I feel like playing a diamond now, Might we might get 
set up a diamond trick. All right, diamond to the queen and ace. They might choose to finesse my nine of spades if I cover. If I duck, they're just going to run the uh, spade anyway. So may as well cover that. Okay, so I do have a stiff... So I've got at most three clubs and a singleton heart. So they're either six spades and three diamonds or five spades and four diamonds. They're ditching uh, them away. So I have to throw my spade. I'm the only one guarding clubs and my jack of diamonds looks like it might be the only thing guarding that. And now I am squeezed. Yep. So this will be a poor score because I did get squeezed on the first board. Uh, maybe I had to duck the other club. 18%. All right. So four people managed to beat three no trumps. They just fired in a diamond. Uh, King of Hearts, and okay, so on a diamond lead, they don't finesse the spade. Interestingly enough, uh, what did the majority of people do? Let a diamond to the ace, King of Hearts, yeah. spade up, another heart. Okay, so they weren't finessing the spades when people led diamonds, which is the uh, big difference there. I'm not sure I could have. Uh, yeah, so I think once I lead a club, they're probably cold for 12. Well, I think they can maybe make 12 tricks anyway, uh, but um, if you let a diamond, they didn't uh, play that way. Anyway, 19% uh, to start off with, so slow start. Really came down to the lead. I'm not sure that a diamond is realistically better in the long run, but it's definitely like not a poor lead or anything. But uh, I certainly got a bad result there. 11 high card points and we're vol against not. 2, 4, 2, 5. This is a really nice 11 count. I don't like opening balanced 11 counts. But uh, Ace Ace King is just fantastic cards. I'm going to get in there and bid on this one. And I will show my hearts. 4 hearts, okay. All right, so my partner's got 12 highs, and we have two heart losers and a spade loser, uh, at least. I have no diamond losers, and I do want to set up my clubs. The queen of clubs is a peculiar lead. I could finesse a diamond to see if I can get rid of my spade. So I could just like win the ace of clubs and play a diamond to the jack straight away. If diamonds are 4-3, I can throw my spade away even if the finesse loses. If diamonds are 5-2, it doesn't quite work like that. Um, and if the finesse works, I can just duck a heart then and there. So I think I should start by uh, finessing the diamond. Okay, so that worked. At this stage, I can duck a heart or start drawing trumps. My spade can go on the top diamond. I will want to set up clubs by trumping some of them. I don't know if Wes has led from like Queen Jack, uh, fourth, fifth club, singleton queen of clubs, Queen Jack doubleton. There's a lot of options there for what they might have led from. Um, but I can also potentially set up the other hand, uh, but I would want to trump two spades and a diamond, which is roughing three things. So I could just like cash the ace of hearts, ace king, uh, spade to the ace, ace king of diamonds, ditching a spade and try and cross rough. I think setting up clubs is probably pretty reasonable. So maybe I should play a club up towards the king now. But why would West have led the queen of clubs? So that's a really peculiar lead. They got the queen of diamonds and... Uh, I don't know what's going on with spades, but we've got 12 high card points up to 11. So we've got 23 there. 17 missing, and East did not open the bidding. So looking at my hand, I still have two hearts at least to lose, if not three heart losers. I have a spade loser. 
Um, my spade loser I want to throw on the diamonds. I have three club losers. What do I want to do with those clubs? I don't want to get tapped out. If I duck a heart, they're going to knock out the ace of spades and then setting up my clubs may be difficult. So I've changed my mind. I'm going to play a club to the king. Hope that West didn't lead a singleton uh, queen of clubs. Okay. And now I want to just trump a club. And if they're 3-3, three, three, like, well, they're not 3-3. Three, three. Um, but if they were 3-3, three, three, my clubs would all be good. If they're not 3-3, three, three, I'm hoping that the hand that uh, trumps in has the long hearts. So we'll go in with the spade ace. And I will draw one round of trumps now. Two queen ace. Uh, two, I'm just looking at my little pips here. I've got two, three, four. I'm missing the five. So I haven't seen the five of hearts. So I have a sneaking suspicion that East actually has uh, started with four hearts. No. Okay, wow. West uh, split in there. Uh, so West roughed in with the five. So they... When I let a low heart up, they put the jack in from jack five. So they should have king jack five. So uh, I'll trump this, rough the club, and then just uh, play a heart. Uh, we've seen there's only one heart left out. I might have been able to make an extra trick, but uh, 10 tricks should be a good score here. Not everyone will be in game. But yeah, 74%. Uh, some people did manage 11 tricks. So. Let's just have a look. They won. They played a heart and ducked it. Uh, spade, they won. And they drew a second round of trumps. Ace of diamonds, king of diamonds. Oh, the queen of diamonds drops doubleton. So I didn't even need to finesse that, but we rough. Jack of diamonds. And yeah, they can cross rough from there. Um, the majority of people... Oh, no. That was, looks like lots of people got to four hearts on this hand. I thought more people might consider passing it. Uh, I really should have made 11. Um, like, you can make 11. Uh, to me, like, I was kind of worried that hearts were 4-1 and people wouldn't be getting to 4 hearts because they might not open that hand. So with that, uh, I was trying to make sure I made when hearts were 4-1. I'm, I haven't gone through and worked out if my line was any better, but... Uh, uh, I thought East had the five of hearts. I didn't really consider West splitting with King Queen five there. Uh, we are back up to forty six point eight percent. Hopefully, we can uh, keep well keep the uh, resurgence going and move on to board number three. Okay, five five six five. Uh, so we've got a six five shape with seventeen high card points. This hand is fantastic. I might make slam ups at like just a, an ace of a, a major suit ace and a doubleton club. Um, three clubs here is a strong two suitor. Three no. Uh, I really don't want to just give up yet, but at match points this is kind of difficult. Uh, but my partner did respond, so the chance that they have like two diamonds and two clubs or... Um, yeah, well. uh, okay, so my partner's got a fit in diamonds, supposedly. I'm just going to bash this, just because I think 3-0 no is probably making as well. And 5 diamonds is a terrible, terrible match point score. Um, and I really don't need much from my partner to be making slams. So we'll, we'll try and bid it, but... Alright, so partner's got fantastic cards for me. They've got the Ace of the Major, which I wanted... The Queen of Clubs is bonus. The third diamond is bonus. These are great, great cards here. So now we want to make sure we try and maximize our chances here. So if diamonds are 4-0, I am still okay if East has four diamonds. If clubs are 3-3, three, three, I have no issues. If they're 4-2, I need to trump once. If they're 5-1, I'll need to trump a couple of times. Uh, if they're 5-1, I'll still make if diamonds are 2-2. Two, two. 
So maybe I should draw two rounds of trumps. It looks like drawing two rounds of trumps is fair. Um, I don't have any chance of making 13 here. Except for them holding on to the wrong cards. Okay. Diamonds weren't breaking that port. Uh, aren't 2-2. Two, two. But uh, we'll see what's happening in clubs. Okay, and we'll trump the club. Yeah, they broke 3-3. Three, three. I, I really wanted them to not be breaking 3-3 three, because three, some people might just draw trumps and not uh, rough their club. Uh, but at this stage, I've got 12 tricks. And I've roughed the spade, so I really, really know to hold on to hearts here. But 88%, some people stopped in two diamonds, three diamonds. I take it they didn't uh, do a jump bid there. So they really need to show their other suit. Uh, so uh, bidding, like, you want to show your other suit um, rather than repeating your six-card diamond suit. Uh, you also want to jump in the spot to say, hey, I want to play in game. So here I could uh, make game opposite just an ace. So here the comparison I had is some people will be in 3-0 and it looks like 3-0 Trumps was going to score more tricks than 5, like, score better than 5 diamonds would. So I wanted to hope that partner had, say, 2 diamonds, 2 clubs and an ace just so that I could get back to um, that spot. Would have been unfortunate if the clubs were 4-2 with the short club having 3 diamonds. North could also have been a 4-5-3-1 without the Queen of Clubs. But it's still a pretty good slam that I missed. Uh, yeah, so there are some... Like, you could have gone down on certain layouts like that. But uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty friendly. 88%. We'll move on to board number 4. Uh, here we have a pretty mediocre 10 count. Oh, just a bit of spade. Um... I can bid 2 no, which is invite, or I could take the low road and bid 2 diamonds. I don't really want to invite with this hand, um, but I feel like 2 no trumps will probably make a lot of the time, and no trumps will score better than 3 diamonds will. My hand is kind of no trumpy, so we'll bid 2 no trumps, even though I didn't really want partner to bid 3 no, because my hand seemed atrocious. Okay, so partner has 12, 14 high card points with a triple four one. And we get the three of clubs lead, which might be a fourth best. Uh, might be a singleton. Might be low from an honor. Uh, at any rate, we've got two winners currently. Um, I'm only missing the king and the ten, so I can double finesse them, but I don't need to start by doing that. So, But I'll start by seeing what's going on in the club suit. And it looks like... Uh, the clubs are favorably placed. Uh, the opponents, when they get in, will either attack spades or diamonds. Um, I feel like I can set up hearts at this stage. So we'll play a heart up. Yeah. So if I played a spade, I thought they were more likely to um, attack diamonds, which I didn't want, want them to do. So at this stage we've got three hearts, a spade is four. Um, we might have four club tricks, we might have three club tricks, we might have two club tricks, I still don't really know. Uh, but if we've got four clubs, three hearts, a spade, and a diamond we're making, um, entries to my hand are kind of limited, but I am going to... I was thinking jack of hearts, heart to the queen, and then finesse a club. The reason I was thinking of doing that is I don't want them to be able to just exit a heart and lock me on table. So I want to make it harder for them. I want them to either play diamonds or spades for me when they get in, or if they get in at this stage. So we're trying to get rid of as many of the hearts as possible. The nine of clubs will keep me in here if West has led away from um, the clubs. Okay, so we'll put up the king of spades because that's known. Okay. Uh, diamond. And 
and yeah, they are defending well. I need uh, the diamond to drop. Didn't. Uh, West discarded two diamonds, so there are. Um, yeah, I've got the uh, final tricks here. West might have to play a spade for me here. Yeah, they do. Okay, so I could have made that. Um, I played West to have King 10 fourth club, uh, which when I finessed to the 10 there, that certainly cost me a trick. Uh, West, like, it looked like clubs were 4 2, so that was the best bet there. Um, kind of content with how I played it. I could have played for, say, three spades, three hearts, two clubs, and a diamond. So let's say I play the queen of spades and they take it. And maybe that is the best line. Um, if I just knock out the spade first, uh, it seems pretty well poised. Maybe I was worried about, like, when my queen of spades held a trick, I, I was like, oh, no, this is, like, starting to fall apart. But... Maybe if I just lead the Queen of Spades, they're more likely to take the spade, but I feel like they should duck the spade if I pull the Queen of Spades off the table. Um, that being said, if I know they're going to duck the Queen of Spades, then I can play a heart and it's more difficult for them. Um, at that stage, they can push a diamond through, but my entries are starting to look a little bit better, so maybe playing the Queen of Spades is better at uh, trick two. Let's look at, have a look at uh, who did well in this. So club lead, they won the jack. Queen of spades, they win and they return a spade. Play a club to the queen. So they didn't play for king 10 fourth club on side. Knocked out the heart. They finesse the club and are just rolling in tricks now. Um, so tomorrow I'm playing a challenge match, uh, my patron challenge match against Vanessa Brown, who is also a Twitch streamer. You should check that out. Um, what time tomorrow for the challenge? Uh, what time suits you? Uh, figure the clubs out, but lacking an entry to hand, you are dependent on a defensive mishap. Seems that if you play on spades to drive out the ace, West fails to shift to diamonds, whereas if you work on clubs like me, hoping for the defense to continue to give you an entry after exiting in diamonds, they find the correct defense. Could it be foreseen? Or I can just play diamonds right at the end and make silly me. My West robot kept grabbing his aces early, which is not the best play. Give me Tetrix. I hate the two club rebid. Oh, yeah. uh, so I, I don't mind the two club rebid. Yeah, one one PM sounds good. Um, yeah, like I, I also like I'm happy with a one no trump rebid with a single tonana here, but. Uh, Doing this with, um, like, I want my partner to happily rebid a six-card suit to gain if they want to play that. Uh, also, if they've only got five-card major, lots of the time they want to compete there. So rebidding one no trump with a stiff isn't great. I don't mind it here because it's a stiff honor. I wouldn't go as far as to say it, so I hate it. Anyway, uh, still above 50%. I think I could have played that one better. Um, board one I thought was unfortunate, but... Uh, Let's look at uh, the trivia question I had from last week for Did You Know? So, uh, my question was, uh, the, the current youngest winner of the Bermuda Bowl slash World Championship uh, was a 19-year-old Michael Klukowski from Poland. My question was, who was who did he secede in, who held that uh, before him? And the answer is Bobby Levin uh, from America. And he had it from 1981 to 2015. Um, so he held that title for quite a while. He was born in 1957, and he won it in 1981, so I think he was 24, um, maybe 23. Yeah, um, but uh, he, he held it for, the, uh, for quite a while. So Bobby Levin was the previous... Uh, mm -hmm. Ty youngest winner of the Bermuda Bowl, and now that is Michael Klukowski. Uh, my question for this week 
is who invented the Stamen Convention? So, do you know who invented the Stamen Convention? Let's move on to board number five. Let's see if we can uh, get a resurgence here. Ooh, this is a good hand. Another fantastic 6-5-17 count. Um, again, I don't need much from my partner to make slam, but uh, a little bit more because my points are a bit more scattered. So for me to make slam, I'd want my partner to have, say, king of hearts, king of clubs. And a fit. But we'll start with two hearts. And I'll bid three clubs. My partner really, really likes spades. I feel like I should bid four clubs. My uh, hopes for slam are starting to dwindle. I feel like my partner might have bid three hearts with the doubleton. Um, they can still have a doubleton heart, but I will bid four clubs because my hopes of slam are still there. Five clubs. Why does my partner always do this? Okay, so if I've got a between four and seven cards and clubs, I think that is a ridiculous uh, question, uh, like possibility. But my partner did open the bidding. They probably have the ace of spades, hopefully a singleton heart. And if they've got three clubs, then uh, we can trump that out. So we'll, we'll try six clubs. Hmm. Okay, I am really disliking this option now. Right, uh, well, my partner had the doubleton heart with an honor. We're missing the king of hearts and the king of clubs. So if spades are 3-3, three, three, we have six spade tricks. If the heart finesse works, we have six heart tricks. We have two diamonds. So currently we have two diamonds, three spades is five. If I just set up clubs, like give up a trick to the king of clubs. Like I'm thinking of like a weird play, like ace of diamonds, queen of spades, ace of clubs, jack of clubs to the queen. Right, so that my eight of clubs or my queen of clubs is an entry. Uh, they then return something. I get my king of diamonds. I'll get four clubs and two diamonds is six. And three spades is um, nine. So then if spades break three, three, I've got 12 tricks. Or if the heart finesse works, I've got 12 tricks. Is there any way I can build on that? I, I will make if there's a singleton king of clubs, king of hearts on side... Uh, with three two hearts, although three hearts, three spades. No, no, I don't. So I don't need hearts three two. But if spades are three three, hearts, uh, heart finesse works. That's currently where I'm at, or a singleton king of clubs. What about if I uh, overtake the queen of spades? So ace of diamonds, queen of spades to the ace, eight of clubs and finesse, and then queen of clubs and finesse. So on the assumption that West doesn't duck the club with, say, king third, completely ruining my entries, but if, uh, if I play that line of play and say any time the club finesse is offside, uh, West takes it, then I would be on the club finesse working or the heart finesse working and hearts being 3-2. So is that better than um, just hoping spades are 3-3, three, three, heart finesse working or singleton king? Um, it seems relatively close um, because 3-2 hearts is 68%, half of that's so the heart finesse working is uh, 34%. Spades 3-3 three, three is somewhere in that ballpark. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but then you have to also weigh in. Anytime West just 
ducks with like the king of clubs my entries are just gone and i'm just down to a finesse so i will go to my original plan and see how we go although i didn't think about my original plan when east wins and pushes a heart through forcing me to guess Okay, the club on the side, that's bad news. Okay, we get uh, the diamond. What's happening in spades? Spades break. Okay, we have the rest of the tricks. That is good news, but uh, that club on the side and the king of hearts was on the side. So I didn't think about the... So I probably could have made 13. Uh, some people did make 13 tricks. Uh, I wasn't too fussed about really trying to make 13 tricks because it looked like most of the time I wouldn't be making 13 tricks. And the fact that I was in six no trumps when lots of people might not be in slam, turns out everyone's in slam, um, meant that I was happy really targeting 12 tricks. Yeah, so playing two over one, they had the same option to five clubs. Looks like a bit misfitish, so I reluctantly passed. He has the nuts. On a jack X... Uh, on a jack X in uh, clubs, good spades, diamond king, three clubs, the queen eight. Yeah, so... Uh, I, no, I don't like the robots bidding here. Um, I feel like they could bid four diamonds over... Uh, four clubs four hearts might be just to play um, so I think I think four diamonds is like the only Q bid that you can actually do uh, whereas four spades is probably I've just got spades four hearts is an offer to play so I would probably bid four diamonds on this hand I've already described it as minimum um, but yeah it's not my ideal sort of auction there anyway uh, I'll take my 84% on this deal, you can't make seven no trumps. No one made 13. Did no one make 13 tricks? No, no one made 13 tricks. So, like, ah, oh, hearts are 4 1. Okay. Uh, I've got it. All right. that, that's all good there. I was, I was worried hearts were 3 2 and clubs were 3 2, but both kings on side. Moving on to board number six. Here we've got a flat 15 count. Oh, no, 5, 4, 2, 2, 15 count. Um, righty opened a club. So I could either double or a bit of spade. Um, to me, there's just a one spade bid, and then I'm going to follow it up with like a takeout double or something uh, later. Or just the, the auction is just going to stop. Um, it's really weird that uh, it stops at the one level. The points are 20 20. East doesn't really have short spades, or they should be reopening with a takeout double, so spades are probably breaking. West didn't uh, bid a no trump, so they don't have a great hand. Um, if I made a takeout double, partner bids hearts, and that's just going to play like a dream. Although, people might bid too much. Uh, but This isn't looking great at the moment. But uh, basically in the bidding, I didn't feel comfortable doubling and then having to bid, say, three spades over three clubs over, like, one club, double, three clubs, pass, pass. So for me, there's just a one spade bid. Um, I really don't... Like, I've got a diamond loser, a club loser, three heart losers, and a bunch of spade losers. I can either try and do some cross roughing or I could try and set up my hearts to, um, like, I can play, like, ace of hearts, heart, and see what happens. I could play, like, diamond to the king. I don't know what, like, my right-hand opponent almost certainly has the ace of diamonds. I think setting up my heart suit's a good idea. When trumps are an issue, setting up your side suit first 
it's usually a decent ploy. Oh, I should have come out the jack. No, didn't matter. Ooh, I've set up my club, so. Okay, so my righty has probably ace jack of clubs, heart honor. I think my lefty has the um, king of hearts and the king of spades. But I'll see if I can sneak a diamond to the king, because if lefty has the ace of diamonds and doesn't take it, then um, I would get to throw my diamond away. So, King of Hunt, wow. Oh, that is super ominous. So ominous that, like, oh, you don't want to overtrump my six of spades. Right. Okay, so in diamonds, uh, I had two. So, my right hand opponent's got four diamonds. Um,. I've got at least four clubs, and I've got two spades. Uh, clubs are only five, like, that's the third club I've seen. Um, and it looks like, yeah, I, I think they've got precisely uh, three clubs, because the nine of clubs... Uh, I, yeah, so I'm guessing... East is like a two, two, four, five, and West has five spades. Uh, that being said, I'm missing King Tennis something in spades. Um, if I lead a heart, they just trump and play a low spade, and then I'm in played. So I may as well just exit a spade. I'll still get my spade trick. And in case I'm wrong about the shape, yeah. Okay, so down one. Sixty-one percent. Uh, okay, some people made one spade. On this deal, you could have made two hearts. Okay, let's have a quick look at how they made one spade. Club lead, they won. Ace of hearts, heart, just like what I did. And they won. They now came out the queen of diamonds. Oh, and the robots take it. Okay, so if I play the queen of diamonds, they win anyway. And now they get to throw, use that queen of clubs for a trick. And... Yeah. Alright. Okay, so basically the same, except they played the queen of diamonds and the opponents took it. Rather, I led a low diamond to the king. I think, like, I was pretty sure that the ace of diamonds was offside, so I actually like that line of play a bit better. Um, even though the robots can duck, they will make a mistake sometimes. Still got 61% for that, so pretty happy with that. Uh, we'll move on to board number seven. And we've got a triple four one seven count, so I'll pass here. Two hearts, two no. Yeah, and they bid to four hearts. Okay, I want to check what three clubs is. Uh, strength in clubs, one honor or concentration of honors. Okay, eight to ten total points. All right, so it looks like they've got the ace of clubs. Uh, my partner led a club, which dummy has 17 highs. Four triple three. Um, it looks like a not the most exciting hand from my my side. So spade. Um, I really want my partner to be able to play a spade to me. Uh, I find it weird that they didn't draw the last trump there. Um, so my partner's probably got ace jack x. So I probably should have ducked the spade to let them draw it. Um, yeah, so that was probably poor.
And they got the... Oh, my partner didn't have a singleton club. I thought they totally had a singleton club. I overtook to give him my club rough, and I'm like, wait, they have the Master Trump. Why would I bother doing that? Anyway, we held that to 10 tricks. Uh, nearly everyone did that. For some reason, Argonauts play at trick 4 on some tables and a diamond on others. Spades results in one more trick for the defense. I can see no obvious reason for the diamond on 30% of the tables. Club. Right. Um, yeah. So well, yeah, that seems very random about why it did it sometimes and not others. Lucky to be in the fortunate group. I I played my lowest club like they did. I played my singleton heart like uh, everyone else did. But yeah, some people uh, got punished and let it make 11. Here we have 11 high card points. Pass, pass, spade. Don't have. I've got length in spades, so nice easy pass from me. They're bidding my suits. I think me and East would have played really, really well together. And West basically says they've got like a week two in hearts, but they didn't open it to start off with. So I don't really know what they what's going on there. Wow. That is a good dummy for a two heart response. Um, okay, so we're going to win the Ace of Diamonds. And do we want to shift to hearts or do we want to play a club? Um, looks like... Okay, so a couple of options. West might not have the suit quality to have opened a week two. So maybe they've got like... King empty sixth heart and didn't think that was good enough. Alternatively, like switching to a club, what's that going to do? It's going to knock out the ace of clubs. Um, so can I prevent them trumping diamonds? Maybe, at least a bit. And if I do, they'll fall back on like playing spade to the ace, queen of spades. Um, and that will work, because West almost certainly has a singleton spade. Uh, so, playing a club, when is a club actually right? And it looks like it's right whenever... My partner's got, like, king jack of clubs. Then we might get two club tricks, but probably only one. Looks like we should play a heart. Okay, we draw some of the trumps. So this, this play is obviously a singleton spade. Uh, even if spade to the ace and the queen of spades would be a singleton ace there. Um, they're trying to rough out my king. All right. Oh, my partner had the jack. I, I missed that. Okay. So that, I, I thought Dummy had like ace queen jack of spades. Yeah, so with that knowledge, the trump's a pretty obvious shift. Okay, they've only got uh, three, uh, like five hearts. So they've got one spade and five hearts. And we've got the rest of the tricks. Cool. 77%. Um, lots of people defended uh, two hearts. Hold for that. Uh, that really just felt like win and switch a trump. I did very little else other than not play any of my high spades whatsoever. Uh, I guess technically they could play like ace of spades, queen of spades, taking a kind of roughing finesse, but also roughing out the jack of spades. That would just be like super weird play for them to do. Um, but yeah... Uh, Finished with 61%. I feel like board one was unfortunate. Um, like, the robots played that well. Uh, I don't think there was much in the lead, but uh, my lead certainly cost. And board four, um, 
This one I do think I probably misplayed, but really, really interesting board. And then uh, just super fortunate <laughs> by some of the robots choices on a couple of the results anyway that was this week's fun bridge tournament thanks everyone for watching um i wouldn't be able to do these without the support of my patrons so if you like what i do and want to support me please check out my patron over there thanks all for watching and we will see you next time bye for now